hello guys, it's Abriel. For today, I'll be teaching you how to make your own handmade paper out of scratch papers. I'll be taking you on a step-by-step -step process on how to exactly make this DIY paper from making the wooden deco to actually making the entire paper. So, let's go! For the frame, you will need two sizes of wood, four pieces each, and assemble them together to create two rectangles of the same size. You could just buy two plain picture frames if you don't have the materials. Next, you will need a mesh wire similar to the ones used in screen doors. Or you could also use a mesh laundry bag and just cut to the size of the frame. Grab a staple gun or a thumbtack to attach the mesh to the frame, then hammer it down to secure. The size of my frame is 9 by 13 inches and my mesh wire had a 2 inch allowance. Get your scratch paper, boxes, egg carton, or any fibrous material and cut it into small strips. This will make it absorb more water which then makes it easier to puree into pulp. Put them in any container and add water. Make sure all the materials are fully submerged. If the material you used has print, the ink will bleed and change the color of the water. This is normal but if you want plain colored paper, drain out the water and replace with clean ones. After 3 hours or even overnight, scoop the paper into a blender and blend until it looks like a smoothie. It's best if there are no chunks of paper that would be left. Then, pour them in another container. I use a plastic ice cream tub. Start preparing your mold and deco, which I have here. Your recycled paper puree. A towel and a sponge. And if you have any additional stuff like dried paper flowers, you could add them to your paper. Now, step one on what you want to do is you get your paper puree. Just grab a handful and spread it to your paper. I mean your water. And then you're going to take your mold and deco. Here's the one with the wire. You're going to put the plain one on top of it. So it's like that. And then you're just going to dip it into your mold. And shake it. And then, once the water is all drained, just lift up the top. If you want to add some designs like dried flowers or leaves, add them before you lift the frame from the water. It is a completely optional step but a great way to personalize your paper. Don't be afraid to experiment on different add-ons. Then to make sure that the design is well incorporated in the paper and wouldn't be just falling off when dry, swirl your hand in the frame. I also find that the paper is more even in thickness when I do this step. Lift up the frame and drain the water, then transfer to a non-fibrous fabric. I made the mistake of using a bath towel which made the paper impossible to take out. Grab your sponge and squeeze out the excess water from the paper. Make sure you get the sides as well for easier removal. If the paper is still holding too much water, it would not separate from the screen. To unmold, hold the fabric taut and slowly lift up the mold. If some parts are still attached to the screen, it means that your paper is still holding water. Put the mold back down and press with a sponge to remove the excess water. If you want a smoother finish for your paper, make sure the fabric has no wrinkles. It is also okay to layer your paper to save space when drying it. I used a hanger with clips to hold the fabric. I clipped it on both sides and the middle part to make sure that the paper is straight and flat. 
this is how it looks while it's still wet. Hang it overnight or if it's the summer, 4 hours under the sun would be enough. And this is how recycled paper looks once dry. Now the most satisfying part, peeling off the paper. It should come off clean like this one. And finally, here is the finished product. If you have any questions or need any help, comment them down below or send me a message on Insta. Thank you for watching. See you on the next episode of Earthwise. Bye!